Well, today is a rainy day, and we're going to stop by Halloween City, which is owned by Party City. We'll see what they have inside. Let's go. As you know, a lot of these are pop-up stores too. And uh, it's really nicely arranged how they have it set up. And the first thing you come across is this young lady not having such a good day. Look, oh, her eyes are glowing. Oh, wow, check her out. That's pretty spooky. And that's the Reaper. Then over here we got Georgie. Georgie's 159. Let's see if he's working. Not sure if he is. Try to get close to him. Maybe he's just a standy guy. Not quite sure. But yeah, the Reaper, here we go. So the Foggy Grim Reaper is seven feet tall. You got Georgie here. Oh, the Reaper's acting up again. Then they got these really cool standees. You got Freddy, you got Chucky, you got Pennywise. So they're all right here, ready to go. We got Mike Myers too. That's very cool. Then over here, you've got your front yard fright tombstones. Buy two, get one free. That's a good deal. Might have to look into that because I do need a few new tombstones for the yard. Nice assortment of spiders, different colors, different sizes. Got the little guys over here. So you got little baby spiders all spread out in the house or in the front of your house. Of course, you got the uh, spider webs here. Now you got the creepy cloth here so you can put those over your windows or your doors. Give it that spooky look. Uh, the cool thing about the creepy cloth too, you can add it to your costume. Looks like it's all, you know, grungy and all ripped apart, falling apart clothing like for zombies, ghouls, things like that. Then over here you get your rats. Oh, I like these guys. Those guys are pretty cool looking. Check them out. Then you've got your spiders and your centipedes and your little snakes all through here. Look at the size of that cockroach, that thing's huge. You got more bats here, and then over here, Curse Carnival. These are neat. They're like appliances you put on your on your door, or on your windows. There's more of your 3D effect portraits there. All kinds of. Oh, check that out. Body bag. <laughs> That's pretty wild looking. Then you got more stuff here. I got the huge cauldron. Put tons of candy in there. Look, little look pretty cool. But yeah, they got these cool appliances that you can put on your door. Look, that would be kind of cool right there. Look at that way. Gothic hallway. That'd be cool on your like your glass door in your front of your house. Then here you get all these cool projections that you can get different ones. You get the pumpkin, get the witch, the little cartoony skeleton. And you have, of course you have Christmas lights for the house. Christmas lights, well, Halloween lights. But you can use them for Christmas, sure. If you're into orange and purple at Christmas times, right? And of course your fog machines, your LEDs, your glow-in-the-dark lights, strobe lights. These are pretty wicked. He's a pretty cool looking pumpkin. Yeah, I like him. Then over here, you've got your different uh, hors d'oeuvre servers for your Halloween party. So you've got a lot of Halloween party. Cause like I said before, this is ran by uh, Party City. So you're gonna get a lot of party items um, for your for your inside of your house during your Halloween party that you can decorate with. You got more uh, slasher and gore decor right here. That's pretty neat. And then of course, oh wow, Goonies. Never say die. Little tumblers. Those are pretty neat. I like those. Then you get this zombie guy down here. Now I like him. Now that's something that you could really use in the front or inside your house coming out of your uh, flooring in your house during your party or outside. Then you got all kinds of cool body parts. 
and yeah pointing away that was pretty cool go here to get uh get yourself killed <laughs> more uh cool creepy cloth here for the banisher in the house that's pretty neat oh check these out these party napkins here with the blood stains and the handprints and then you get fingers you get cool uh blood handprints here for your uh, windows or for your doors yeah these are really neat got more hangies over here the hanging props of ghosts and ghouls more party items here little sippers for the kids wow oh more body parts here <laughs> you got your arms your legs and your different organs all wrapped up ready to go uh, these are so cool then you get this really cool michael myers display i'm not sure if these are exclusive for party seti i'm not these are i haven't seen them in other stores kind of scarred up burnt i think it's for the new movie coming out halloween kills yeah and you get the butcher knife there yeah that's probably what that's from it's from the new movie so like they're not ready for the the werewolf's not set up just yet i'll go down this way there's more michael myers mask from uh number one because it's got the fully white i think two has like the flesh on the bottom my uh, color and then over here you got freddy krueger and you've got Borshi here with his hockey mask. Very cool. Yeah, these are really neat. You got the claws down at the bottom there. And the Freddy hat. And of course, there's Chucky and Pennywise. Nice assortment of masks. So, both stores, like your um, Spirit and then Party City, will probably have uh, the same mask, but there'll be kind of a uh, some masks in there that will you won't be able to get at one store or another. You'll have to, they're exclusive to that particular store. Yeah, check him out. I do like him. He's pretty neat. And then we've got a lot of clowns here. Check him out with the sombrero. I like that. And then you've got more corpse looking masks here. Undead. These are pretty cool. Now, I haven't seen him before. Like him. Devil Skull Mask. Let's see what he's going for. He is going for 60. And I like that it has the chest also. Same for the zombie here too, the undead guy. Mega zombie. This is Nate's here, killer two-face mask. You got the evil Santa Claus there. There we go, a little better view of him. Got this cool red devil mask, kind of half mask. It's like a hard, he's a hard plastic too, which is nice. And, you can, and these two are cool because if you like, don't like the paint job, which I think it looks great, but if you want to repaint it, they're easy to do. Put a little primer on there and paint it up. Got cool devil mask over here. Satanic beast mask. Scarecrow. That scarecrow looks really nice. Got your pumpkin here. So they have a good selection of masks here at uh, Halloween City. And of course, your clown costumes all along here. That's pretty wicked there. Kind of a flimsy plastic, but a cool look to it. So a lot of cool uh, skeleton accessories here. And then over here, gothic horror. All on there. Got the kind of voodoo witch doctor horns here. Then you've got all kinds of witch gear along this wall. Cool display. More witch stuff here. It's a little broom and wigs. And they call they're calling this section creepy pasta. <laughs> okay. It is pretty wicked here. With all these different clown masks and costumes along here. Check this witch light steampunk looking at. That's pretty crazy. I'm guessing the light comes on. Well the the batteries are not connected that's pretty neat you got more of your uh, plague mask here steampunk style all along here good variety he's pretty wild called vertigo yeah if you keep on looking at him straight ahead yeah that'll definitely uh screw your eyes up but he is pretty wild looking and if you're looking for that harry potter costume here you go this is mainly the kid section here it looks like and you got a lot of cool accessories. You get all the different house ties, scarves. Um, got the golden snitch. 
and you've got uh, the time twister here necklace and Harry's glasses he got a little hedge weight down there too and he's 13 for him you got all your vampire teeth and this display stand here blood more blood and more teeth and you get your hats here I really like this one kind of mad hatter rabbit <laughs> that is pretty cool with the ears on it and everything and the clock let's see what he goes for if they have a price on it not quite sure if they do don't see one but he that is a cool top hat with the with the rabbit ears and over here is your kitty section here you get the princesses disney characters circus characters all along here now over here, not too far from the kids section, you get your wild thing stuff. So yeah, check her out. So if you want to do that sexy looking rabbit or cat, and you've got wigs over here, a lot of cool props all on this display. Get your flower headband. Oh, she's pretty cool. The full face mask with sunflowers. Yeah, she's, she's pretty neat looking. Got your wigs all on this wall here. And over here, you've got uh, more sexy stuff, headbands, stockings, little devil stuff here. And then you get your, what they call them, just funny, but it's uh, all kinds of cool themed outfits from different TV shows and movies all along here. Oh, there's Chong, if you wanna do Chong. Ancient times, she got medieval stuff here. And I talked to him earlier, they're still getting stuff in. There's some cool hairspray colors. If you want to do your hair glittery and in different wild colors. Got more of your hanging props over here. Three for 12. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And uh, yeah, there you go. Awesome. More hanging props here. Skulls and clowns and mummies and undead. All on this wall here. Then of course you have your pirate gear here, hats, costumes, and accessories, all on this display. Now I'm loving these pet costumes here. Check out the spider. We get the legs <laughs> coming out. That is pretty neat. So you, they do have your pet costumes all along here for the slip-ons, and then you also get it to for the smaller dogs here. Very cool. I'll we'll go over here and see what they have here. Oh, check these out. <laughs> nice got the shark down there like you're being eaten by a shark and then over here you get your your t-shirts your bags oh, i like the hoodies the hoodies are really nice there's 25 for that yeah this one's pretty cool here i do like this one the graphics are really cool and some of your vintage look to it too down here at the bottom i'll give you an overview here you can do some cool little photo ops over there next to the, the ghostbuster standees yeah, so this is Halloween City, owned by Party City. So, uh, yeah. And I'll have the information on these stores as well in the description. And where they're located. They'll have a locator too. When you go to their main site to find your closest Halloween City near you. This one, if you're in North Carolina, this one is right off of uh, the highway near 85 in Gastonia um, between Gastonia and Belmont area so off of 74 I believe in a little shopping center where the Books a Million is so yeah just kind of wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of Halloween City so I ended up getting some new tombstones for the decorations out front my other ones are getting worn out so they do have you buy two and you get one free these are really cool they got a huge assortment of different tombstones to select from so i got these guys i look forward to getting those out front this year so i hope you enjoyed that little tour of halloween city and again they are owned by party city and it's a lot of fun going in there they have some cool stuff in there that i haven't seen before um so i'm just trying to cover all the halloween selections or stores that you might have in your area so be sure to check them out if you get a halloween city store in your area well 
that's it for today. I appreciate you hanging out with me for just a little bit and enjoying the little tour of the Halloween City store. Please like, subscribe, comment. I do appreciate it. Ring that notification bell too for new content coming out all the time. We well, guys, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.